Hello everybody and uh, welcome to uh, touchuppaints.com.au uh, Michael Biardi here. I'm here to show you uh, how to fix a scratch and how you can fix it uh, so that it looks pretty good. Uh, it's a little bit harder for a DIY person to do it but I'm going to show you how it's done anyway. What I showed you in the beginning was uh, a fine line scratch that has uh, somebody's keyed this car all the way down to the side there one two three and what I've done here is <coughs> I've I've uh, previously just to cut time down repaired this panel already for a moment there I was trying to figure out I thought the camera was playing up because I could see the reflection of the wall without the scratch anyway I fixed this and that scratch is nearly almost gone. It used to look like that front panel. So that's been already repaired. This panel here I've put clear on. I've already put the clear on it and I let it set overnight. And we're going to chop that back in a minute. And uh, I'm going to show you how to apply the clear onto the scratch on this panel. So the first step is we're going to get one of our uh, pens here, our touch up paint pens here. And this is uh, the clear coat, it's a factory clear coat. And uh, when it goes on there, it's going to uh, dry in that scratch where it's perforated. So I'm going to show you how to do that again on a fine scratch like this. So first of all, just give it a quick shake, make sure it's all nice and stirred. And then just discharge a little bit of the, uh, the beginning of it, just to discharge it, just get the feel of it. You probably want to try it on somewhere uh, else first just to get the feel of it but what we're going to do is I'm going to put the clear on here and I'm going to put it just in that scratch and that scratch will look like it's disappearing but the clear will be on there and it will be a little bit blobby not blobby but you can see you can see it so we'll just pencil that in there it's going on beautifully it's almost like the ball point of the pen is following the contour of the scratch if you put on a little bit too much, it doesn't really matter um, in this instance because we're going to uh, sand that off later and then polish it up. So we just fill that in like so. Doesn't take very long. Now when that dries, and the clear dries out of it, it'll lie nice and flat. And you're going to have to be looking for it to be able to see it. But it's hidden the scratch, neatly there. Now if I let that dry, you'll see a little bit of a squiggle there, um, but walking past the car, uh, you'll hardly tell that it's there. Now if you want to get it looking uh, a better than that, okay, that's just a normal, you can do that with the brush touch kit, or you can do that with a pen. I like to do it with a pen, if you know how to use the pen properly, the pen delivers the uh, liquid in, directly into the scratch, but you've got to know how to uh, use it. So. You just practice somewhere first, you'll be fine. So basically, um, I'll give you a little look later after I've sanded, that uh, sanded and polished that panel there. I'll give you a look at this, uh, this scratch with the camera just so you can see what it looks like close up. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how to sand this thing um, and then we're going to machine polish that. I'm going to use a G3, which is a grade 3 cutting agent, and 1500 wet and dry with water on a block to block that out nice and flat and level then we're going to polish it up so just bear with me I'll 
I'll just bring you in nice and close so you can watch the action. What's happening there? Okay. Here I've got a nice hard rubbing block. A nice hard, hard rubbing block here, which I'm going to use, and that'll help me level that that paint surface out nicely. So I'm just going to mask up these edges here so that uh, the sandpaper doesn't damage them. I need to be careful. That one there I'm going to sand at a later stage. Just take a little bit of that excess off there. Okay, and I'll commence sanding it. Now you're not going to keep sanding and sanding. You're going to sand it and you're going to check it. You sand it and then you check it. That's the way to do it. Keeping the block flat. And you sand it up and you're effectively taking off that most, the majority of that clear that you put on. Or that I put on. Leaving that panel nice and flat. And then we'll polish it up. It's a, if you know what you're doing, it doesn't take too long once you've practiced it. And you can get fantastic results instead of painting that full side and spending $1,500 or $2,000 or something like that, uh, you could have this technique done for you here at our workshop, or you could do it at home using this tutorial. But the results are fantastic results uh, for what's being done and the amount of money that you're spending. So I'll just toss and turn that paper so it gets uh, a fresh cutting edge, because we want to do it quickly. I do like to use the hose uh, on slow trickle. It keeps fresh, clean water, keeps it clean. Um, some of that uh, clear there, as it sands off and it dribbles down here, if you don't clean it off, it can stain. So we'll just work that up there like so. I can actually see that clear um, there under that. I'm just going to turn that direction. Just check that and see how much is actually still on there and how much more I've got to go I'm using this nice rubber block. Very, very handy tool. And I'll just keep saying, oh, I've, I've, I've turned it off completely nearly. I need to turn that back on. Oh, here we go. So you've got to make sure that there's no grit on there because it'll scratch the panel. Smooth. Now I'm going to use the polisher. This is a, uh, a sponge buff. This is a sponge buff. Uh, it's available here at touchuppaints.com.au. Well, there's various places you can buy this uh, this sponge. Uh, you could buy a machine like this from Bunnings, uh, reasonably cheap. Not this brand. This is a professional model. Um, and get some uh, some grade three cutting agent now, and we'll just dab that on there like so. We're just going to dab this on here like so. It's going to be a bit noisy.
I can see that there, there's still a bit of clear on there that's uh, still uh, raised. So I'm going to give that a second turn. But don't forget that this cream is a cutting agent. So it actually acts like a sandpaper when it's used with this sponge. So uh, those little bits that are raised, this will actually cut it off, leaving the, uh, the majority of the scratch filled. clear's been uh, repaired and uh, but I can still see there it still needs a little bit of color in a couple of spots there so this is a, 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 a type of scratch a single key scratch that's the technique remember every different type of scratch there's a different technique and there's a different product that can be used to get the best results so for this type of scratch what I'm doing is there is the best type of result uh, using the two paint pens one one which is a clear and the other one which is the color but I'll just clean that up quickly and I'll show you the best kit to buy is uh, is a total paint maintenance kit which is at our site that's BTKW37, item number 37, BTKW37. That's the total paint maintenance kit. We recommend people buy that kit. 
as it does all of this and you get a, uh, a pen in that kit uh, for a slight additional cost. You get an empty pen and you put some of your colour in the pen and then you've got the, uh, the two applicators. You can order the pens as well as the kit. But uh, that looks pretty good there. I'm going to put some paint sealer on that just to uh, cover it. Get our paint sealer. Got a little bit of paint sealer in there, as I say. Now I'll just go over that. That looks like it just came from the factory with a little mark in it. And it's fantastic. They're fantastic results. Like I said earlier, you would have paid $1,500 to paint the side of this car and then turning your whole car, uh, making it not original because it's been all painted. A simple repair like this, ah, it's fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Cost effective, uh, it is tricky, it's not an easy, uh, you've got to have, uh, you've got to practice it uh, before you do it because you can quite easily turn it into the $1,500 job if not done properly. So there we have that. I'm going to get my camera and I'm going to give you a close up of what that looks like because that came out fabulous. Look at that panel. That's, that's amazing. Now, I've, I've sort of like muddled the clear up here with the rag, but that was just to show you. When that dries, I'll sand that there on that guard there and, uh, and I'll polish it up like this and it should come out like that. That just looks really, really fabulous. I'll just get the camera here. I'll just give you a sticky beak there. Okay, if you just want to look at that, you can't see that scratch now. That scratch is gone, almost. You could polish that up a little bit more uh, and make that a little bit better. But I'm happy with that. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching again and uh, I'll see you on the next type of scratch. Remember, uh, all the kits at our site, touchuppaints.com.au, there's many kits there, um, and those kits, each kit that you can buy there does a in, in particular type of scratch, and, uh, and, uh, and that's why there's that many uh, kits, because there's that many, and there's, there's probably more types of scratches, but they're the basic scratches, um, and the, the basic kits that you're going to need those to fix those type of scratches. Uh, the best kit to buy is, uh, like I said, the BTKW37, which is the total paint maintenance kit, and it allows you really um, to do uh, brush work uh, as well as uh, you know the pen work. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Oh. oh, fuck, never start. Never start, man. Yeah? You like that? Um, um, yeah. Came out alright, didn't it? I, look, I. What did you do? <laughs> what do you mean? How, how'd you do it? The scratch? Yeah. Oh, it's a master's technique. <laughs> well, Michael, I'll tell you, man. Do you want to do more stuff like this? Yeah. This is your, your size, yeah? Yeah. You happy with the job? I suppose I shouldn't say yes. Let's have a look at it. Yes. Yes. You like it? Yes. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. 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 We want you to be happy. It was good. Came out all right. Yeah, look, I'm very happy, man. Okay, yeah. That's what we want. Okay, okay. good.